okay, we're making a video. Okay, doke. What do you want to talk about? Well, first of all, I want to put some sidelines down. You want to put some sidelines down? Yeah. What are sidelines? They're the little things you don't want to hear anybody say. So you want to tell me some things you don't want everybody to say? Here? Yeah. Well, okay, what, what don't you want anybody to hear? I don't want anybody to hear that I'm... Yeah, I'm, I lost it. That you're sick? Yeah. You don't want anybody to know that you're sick? Yeah. Well, you can't hide that anymore. Oh, I can. You can? Yeah. Well, what if you pass away and people are just going to go, well, I didn't know she was sick. Yeah. That's what you want? Yeah. So you want to surprise people? Yeah. <laughs> So your idea, your idea of a good time is to die and let everybody be surprised? Yeah, perfect. Why is that perfect? Oh, I don't have to give excuses. I'm just asking you, why, why do you like that idea? I like the idea because it's a good one. Well, because well, you don't want people to say, oh, how are you doing? No, I don't want that. Okay. What if they're upset? You just say... Well, I have to do it? Yeah, you have to do it. You have to, you have to be the one that says... I don't know what you have Me to neither. Do. I'm going to have to say something. Like Bill's going to say, Why didn't you tell us she was sick? So what? <laughs> I can't say so what. Why not? To your friends. I don't have any friends. You do? I don't. Carrie? Malcolm? Diana? I don't have any friends. Not even Diana? Not even Diana. Oh. Oh. Well, that's sad. You don't think you have any friends? No, I You have people who love you? Well, loving you and being a friend is two different things. What, may, what is the definition of being a friend? I don't know. But you know you don't have any. I know that I don't have them. What about Jeanette? Widener. I know who she is. Well, I know. You stopped saying anything. She was a friend. She's a nice lady. Having some juice? Good. Okay, so I'm not supposed to tell anybody you're sick. No, I'm not sick. What are you? Mm. What am I? You have a disease. A disease. You do? <laughs> you have Alzheimer's. Or dementia. You didn't know that? Yeah, you did. Why do you think I'm here? I don't just can't fathom. <laughs> well? I think you're here because you have... I don't know. I don't... Why are you here? To take care of you. Because you're sick. Does that make any sense? No. How long have I been here with you? Pretty long time. How long do you think? Oh. Um, couple days? Yeah. Hundred years? No, that's just how it seems. Yes. <laughs> A couple weeks? No. A couple days? Yeah. Couple months? Mm, yeah. Couple years? No. Well, what do you think? How long do you think I've been here? Too long. <laughs> <laughs>
Do you want me to leave? No. Why? I love you. Oh, you can love me and want me to leave. I can? Yep. That's what you want. And you would do it? Um, if that's what you want. You would? Yeah. Very cool. Is that what you want? No. Is who would prepare your meals and clean up after you, and wash your sheets, and do your laundry, do your yard work. You could get a slave. <laughs> there can't be that much. Yeah, there is. They're slaves? Yeah. How much do you think they get? I don't have a foolish idea. Think you could afford one? No. Would you want to have one? No. Good answer. I'm okay. I know. I'm happy. That's good. Yes, it is. So the only sideline you wanted to say was don't tell people you're sick. Yeah. And no other sidelines? Uh, no, I don't think so. And that's the only one. You just don't want people to know. Yeah. Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. I don't know why you don't want people to know. I don't either. Is it embarrassing? No. Is it... Sad? No. Is it just you want your own privacy? Yes. And you don't want anybody to come visit you and say, oh, how you doing? That's very right. That's very right. Yeah. You don't like that? No. You want them to just leave you alone? No. Oh, they can call? Yeah. So it's okay if people call you? Yeah. Why are they going to call you and not know you're sick? Yeah. So you're surprise. Gonna, surprise, you're going to fake it on the phone? Yeah. As best you can, you're just going to let them know everything's okay on the phone? Yeah. But if they see you in person, you probably can't fool them that well. I think not. You think not? Yeah. You remember Malcolm was here this week? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Did you fool him? No. Oh. So you can't fool people if you see them in person. Yeah. You can only fool them on the phone. Yeah. And it's important to you to fool people on the phone? Yeah. So they don't know you're sick? Yeah. Yeah. Why oh, you say it like that? Because it's a, a surprise. It's a surprise if you die from your illness? Yeah. So you, you want a memorial just to be a big damn surprise for everybody? No. No? You want an invitation that says come to my party and they come to your party and find out it's a surprise? Yeah, the surprise is on them. Well, don't you think they'd be sad and crying? No. No. No? Don't you think that'd be cruel to invite them to a surprise? No. Why? Why would it be? Well, it's cruel if you... Let's say, let's say you passed away and you're no longer of this earth. Oh. And then I got to mail cards out to all your friends and say, Hey, come to my party. No, they wouldn't do that. Who, they wouldn't? Uh-uh. They wouldn't come to your party? No. Well, how am I going to tell them that you passed away then? Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to call them all individually? Or no. we're going to invite them to a place? I don't know. We'll see. What do you want me to do? I want you to. Well, that doesn't go on the, in the list of things. Oh. Uh, well, I don't know what to do now. Oh, well, you never did. Because you just want a big freaking surprise party when you're gone. Can they all have a little ashes? No. No? No. Who gets the ashes? I don't know. Well, what do you think? I think... I don't know. Well, what am I going to do with them? With what? Any ashes from your body. Because you already paid somebody to cremate you. I did? Yep. 
but I don't know what to do with them once I get them. Well, we won't get them right away. Well, I think you have to. You have to? Yeah, I don't think you can let people who passed on lay around for too long. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. Well. Not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Not to just be laying around, no. I think they have to do things pretty quickly. You thought feces smelled bad. Oh, man. Yeah. I think... Lots of air freshener. Really? I don't know. Okay, so don't tell anybody you're sick and get ready for a big surprise. This is what we've learned today. Yep. That's the way you want it. Yep. I'm happy. Okay. I don't know how we're going to do this big surprise. Oh, that would be so fun. For you? Yeah. How are you going to enjoy it? Slowly. Oh, do you want to do it before you pass away? Good idea. Have a surprise, have a fake funeral? Yeah. And you can sit in the back in disguise and watch what people say? No. That's no? Not, that's not honest. Well, that's on, well, it's not honest surprising people either. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. It's, let's say you passed away and I say, come to a surprise party. That's not being honest. They get here and get a surprise. Well, it's a surprise. Well, if that's your wishes. It is. Are you sure? I'm certain. Why do you want to surprise everybody? Just fun. Fun. So you want to go out with a fun bang. Or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's settled. That's settled. Thank you. You want to say goodbye? Goodbye.